Hey everybody, this is Hells here. I'm coming to you from Sydney Airport. I'm heading down to Melbourne. I'm going down for our first show for the amazing launch of the Hells of Biz Blow Tour um, this weekend uh, at Scotty's Garage in Melbourne before we head nationally around the country. Um, I want to let you guys know on Thursday we're going to have a launch release of a brand new single and new music video. Um, the song is called Kill the Real Girls. Um, make sure you get online, check it out, and um, rock on. I'm um, having a chat with Chris from Heavy. So let's get into it, Chris. Beautiful. Let's take it over. <laughs> Thank you for joining us today, mate. I've got nothing else to talk about, so it's been a pleasure and awesome. <laughs> next time. <laughs> That's it. Okay. All right. See you later. Get off on the plane. Busy. <laughs> right. See you at, at Sydney Airport, mate, getting ready to, to trip off for the weekend down to Melbourne. Yep, another week, another plane. <laughs> <laughs> They'd all be fun to play one by now, wouldn't they? Yeah, I know. It's it's the the novelty of travelling is wearing off. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez, you haven't even got the first date down yet. You're going to shit, girl. <laughs> yeah, I know. I mean, I'm just honestly, just busy, busy, and it's it's fantastic. It's really, really great to um to be kicking ass. You know, shit, yeah. As you mentioned at the start, mate, Hell's Abyss is starting your national blow tour this Saturday at Scotty's Garage in Melbourne. But instead of focusing on that, you've decided to drop a sneaky song and video called Kill the Real Girls two days before the show. So I can't figure out if you're a sucker for punishment or you're a promotional wonder kid. Yeah, a bit of both, I reckon. <laughs> no, I just sit down and um, this week I just thought, you know, hell, I woke up one morning, I was like, okay, let's get a video together. Um, there's a great song we're playing on the tour called Kill the Real Girls. It's one of my favourites. So I just love everybody to see a clip and, and get in the groove of that song before we head out and kill it. So, um, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And Kill the Real Girls is actually taken from your first album, N1FG. So why decide to release it now? Um. I've just always had it there and I just wanted to make sure I had the right theme as well for a music video. Um, it was important to get the message across, um, the anti-plastic message um, that girls don't need to change themselves to be great. You're born amazing. Stick with what you got because there's people that love you. Um, yeah, it's kind of a bit of an anti-message, but I hope people get the message that it's more of a positive, um, a positive, what's the word for it? Uh, confident, confidence thing. Love what you got. Yeah. And like I say, like it's a yeah. pretty aggressive sounding song from the title. So what, what, what was the actual inspiration behind it? Like it's, was there something that triggered you and you just gone bang, that's it? Or? Um, gold diggers, um, Brazilian butt lifts, implants. <laughs> <laughs> the, kind of, the kind of culture that's going around and stealing all our teenagers and making them think they're not perfect enough. Um, it's kind of, yeah, it's kill those girls and, you know, bring the real girls back. And you know what? I think all the men out there would like some real women again. So. Oh, hell yeah. We, we love the real booty and, and the real look. We don't like the plastic. And do you oh. know what? The, the little tight rock ass in leather pants is pretty good too. <laughs> Oh, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say too much because I get myself in trouble, but I agree with you 100%. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> you also did the video for yourself earlier this week, mate. So what, what, what's that one about? So, hold on. Oh, look out. That's not me. <laughs> You've got eight minutes. So the video pretty much is pictures of women swimming in plastic. Um, so it's just inspiration for what actually the words are i mean i i can't stress enough people need to actually listen to the lyrics in that song it's quite funny there's a little bit of comicalness about it um yeah it's just the reflection i wish they'd shut up no no they're, they're, they're annoying. <laughs> don't they know we're working here they're looking for anthony anthony <laughs> crying out loud he's in the toilet <laughs> <laughs> I was thinking Probably. about this while I was writing these questions up and like um, Kill the Real Girls is a great song title, but you couldn't really call the tour the Kill the Real Girls tour just in case someone took it literally. Yeah, I know. It's, it's, yeah. <laughs> it's, hard when, it's hard when you bring out a song and you, um, I'm, you're trying to prove a point, but you don't want to upset anyone because there's a lot of um, offended people out there at the moment. Yeah. Um, Trying to better society is, is what I'm doing. <laughs> Good girl. <laughs> As we mentioned at the start, like the blow tour actually kicks off this Saturday, August the 6th at Scotty's Garage in Melbourne. So people coming along to see that first show, what can they expect? Are you going to be a little bit rusty or are you going to hit the ground running? 
Oh, we're hitting the ground running for sure. Um, you can expect some surprises. Um, I made my costume again, so it's, it's pretty hot. Lots of chains, leather. Um, got a phenomenal drummer. Mark McLeod is just amazing on the drums. Dean is an amazing guitarist and slamming leads. Great bass solos. You know when you're always asking for that bassist to play a solo? Mick does that. Wait. <laughs> And just great upbeat songs. Yeah, just great upbeat music. It's um hard rock and um come along, get your therapy, scream along to Hell's Abyss and get your cheap therapy. <laughs> Very cool. So I've got to admit, like I've, I've spoken to you a few times now and I've only just started recently checking out your videos and, and seeing what else you do. And yeah, the, the Lisa you talk to here now is completely different to the Lisa you see on stage. So is, is that on stage performer an extension of the real you or is it a separate entity? It's, it's hell's. It's the person I was before life fucked me up. Um, and, you know, it's when I get on that stage, that's the person that that was never hurt. Um, that was never, you know, it's, it, it comes out. It's all my anger and everything that I've been through is just in that moment in that place. And for an hour, I can scream it to everybody and they can just yell it back and do what they want. You know, it's um, cheap therapy, but it's good therapy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And as the title suggests, the tour is promoted in your latest album, Blow, which has been out for a little bit now. So how's the reception been for that? Yeah, yeah, awesome. Um, people are loving it. There was a bit more of a mixture of different styles of music on that one. Um, so we sort of went a bit more experimental on some of the things we did. Um, but absolutely, yeah, great. Um, we have, we're, we've got a few great radio plays. We've got um, oh, just a lot of feedback, a lot of great feedback. So we can't wait to slam it out in front of everyone. Okay, cool. And are the songs in the set list mainly off the Blow album or are you mixing it up a little bit? Now we've mixed them both. So we've got songs off the N1FG album, which is not one fuck given. Um, we've what also that? got, yeah, <laughs> we've also got the Blow album there. So it's pretty much my most energetic and songs. A lot of the songs that were in the videos that people know. Um, yeah, we really want to get around and just see people rocking out to them. So. Mm -hmm. well, speaking of getting around, you're definitely doing that, mate. So after this weekend, you head to Adelaide on the 13th of August. Then Newcastle and yep. after before hitting Queensland in early September. Then you got Canberra, Dapto, Sydney, and Melbourne again. So it's a pretty big tour, especially so soon after after COVID. Yeah, busy, busy. And you know what? We've had three years pretty much to prep for it. So um, we're ready. We're more than ready. Um, we're committed and we are going to kick ass. <laughs> Oh, yeah. <laughs> I understand you booked most of this tour by yourself too, mate. Like, um, I know things are a lot more accessible in the modern age, but is it still a big task? Because there's a lot going on there. It's huge. It's a massive task. Um, it, it takes every moment of every day. Um, the last three years has just been a, a continuous nonstop. Um, if I stop then it stops. So um, I haven't given up. And this is basically the um, the outcome. So here we go. Here we buckle go. in. Yeah, <laughs> buckle up. Buckle up for the ride, kids. And buckle up. up. <laughs> you seem to me like you're a pretty motivated too, girl, Lisa. So like, I'm sure you've got plans after this tour, but what's going to roll on after that? Yeah, absolutely. Hopefully we're going to get around maybe some more Women of Rock shows. Um, we're also going to be trying to get around with a bit more maybe bigger acts on some tours and supports and see what we go. We're not going to stop. This is the Hell's Abyss journey. Um, Hell's Army is coming along with us. This is going to rock out. I love that word rock. Let's <laughs> rock out. It's good. <laughs> you got to do that when you say it, though. It gives it more, more meaning. <laughs> Rock out. That's better. And where else can people find out more information about these shows and get tickets? Yeah, if you get onto www.houseofhells.com, you'll be able to go and book all the tickets for our shows there. You could probably also follow Heavy, get on the Heavy website as well. I'll let you chuck that one out there, and there will be some lists of some shows there too. Um, also, Facebook, Hells Abyss. With a Z, Hells, look us up, get on there. Beautiful. Well, I better let you go so you can catch your plane now, Lisa. But once again, yeah, five chat minutes. With you and I'll still catch up with you when you get to Queensland for some shows. Yeah, awesome. Can't wait to see you, Chris. You too, darling. Safe travels. Keep listening for a sneak peek at Kill the Real Girls. <laughs>